And welcome back to Talk of Alabama. Today we're sharing more about two summer academic programs for all the children out there. On behalf of Shelton State Community College, we've got Shannon Chandler joining us with details on the Lego Engineering Camp and Kids College 2014. Welcome to you. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be here. You guys have done these camps before. They've been very successful, so you brought them back. Yes, yes. Kids College actually close to 20 years to be exact and yeah. Lego this is our second year to offer Lego camp we actually have offered kids college for a long time as I said and we were missing a science element so yeah. there are a lot of parents that said you have math you have reading you have study skills you have speech and debate but there's nothing that's more geared towards engineering or the science element so to cover that skill set we got with Lego corporate Okay. and develop some curriculum, a very structured um, program for three weeks that kids can come and be a part of that actually we entitled Lego Engineering and it covers all of those basic principles for engineering and science and of course what little boy, little girl that you even know that, yeah. that don't love Legos. So at yeah. this point we're trying to incorporate a little fun with a lot of learning. Well I assume you have more boys and girls just because right. boys are more into Legos for the mm -hmm. most part, not across the board. Correct. But what about, it, I, we were talking to her break and I was like, wouldn't it be fun to do, you know, like some little girls want to grow up to be, say, fashion designers. Right. They want to live in Manhattan and design for the stars, or they want to maybe build homes. So they can learn something from one of your they camps. They can, absolutely. You know, if, if more of the science and engineering is not what you would like for your child to be a part of, yeah. in June, we offer Kids College in July, and okay. that runs the gamut. We offer a wide variety of academic classes as okay. well as fun classes. And sometimes we have parents that will say, we know that you need a little help and a little remedial help in algebra, so let's do this. You take a remedial class and then I'll let you take a cooking or an art class. So yeah. it's kind of a catch-22. That's very nice. And what can parents expect if they send their kids to one of these camps? What can they expect through it and at the end of it? Well, one of the biggest benefits for us as far as providing this Lego camp is that we have Lego certified instructors. Okay. So these teachers are actually trained on behalf of Lego education at Lego Corporate. So okay. from the get-go, they're getting the highest quality instruction, and we limit our number of children in the classroom so that your student-teacher ratio is not what it's like in a normal classroom. Okay. So you have more one-on-one -on -one time. You have more opportunities to ask a question and become engaged and get involved. Um, obviously, in the Lego camp, there's a lot of cooperative learning stations. They learn team building skills and leadership opportunities for each and every age group. We start at age five and we actually go through high school. In Lego camp this year, we are actually offering a couple of um, curriculum programs that are being offered in science and chemistry classes at, at Yale in Stanford. So we were very excited to get our hands on um, those materials. And then you have uh, Kids College in July. So we start at age four and we cap out at the 10th grade. And there are parents that use oh, nice. it for remedial purposes and yeah. there are parents that use it for preparatory purposes. Okay. Uh, obviously, at the end of Lego camp, the child will be Lego certified and they'll have their nice certificate. So yeah. it's, it's fun field learning. Okay. On the other hand, Kids College, we do an assessment test the very first day. It's more of an intense course of study. Okay. Um, we limit those classrooms to 12 students so that the student teacher ratio, again, is better okay. um, and at the end of the three-week program a parent will be given a progress report Very we nice. encourage them from the get-go to give us any kind of literacy scores test scores star scores standardized tests that you can get your hands on to help yeah. us better equate where your child is at mm -hmm. so there's there's no wasting time if you will okay. um, and at the end of the three-week program the parents get a progress report that tells you where a child started what was worked on in class and things that they can work on at home before school starts so if people at home want to get involved if they want to send their students or their child how do they do so multiple ways. You can okay. actually find both brochures full color. You can print them off and mail them in or you're welcome to drop it by the school or we can actually register you over the phone by going to sheltonstate.edu. Okay, and we've got that information we can share with viewers. Sheltonstate.edu is on your screen. Is there a cutoff or can they start now and register all the way up to the date? We prefer, we do have a cutoff. Um, okay. Lego Camp actually starts June the 9th and I would okay. like to cut it off that Monday. However, because you can register for certain weeks and not the entirety obviously we will take them as long as, as we have spots available and there is a limit so I encourage everyone to continue to send in their registrations and call for more information and do it now again sheltonstate.edu for more information or if you've got questions you can simply call them email them or look uh, look them up on their website thank you so much for being thank here thank you we appreciate yeah, it yeah really thank nice you. camps two opportunities to learn and have fun okay